Uh, the value scale, a very important part of drawing. Um, the value scale is, uh, is, is used by artists to kind of cross-reference their tonal shading to make sure that areas are, are dark enough or light enough. So without further ado, here's a quick video on how to do that. In this video, I'll be going over the value scale, or a system of creating marks that progressively get darker. This is a great useful trick that artists use um, to sort of, just to sort of cross-reference um, their mark making to see uh, what should be darker and lighter based on a, a common um, a common base. So, in this, I'll be creating seven values. So I'm gonna make a light bar across my page. I'm gonna break it up into multiple sections. All right, I'm gonna number them off. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Now, in this, I'm gonna leave one completely blank or white. Um, I mean, you could add a tiny bit of shadow if you want, or a tiny bit of tonal shading if you want, but it's really unnecessary. The idea is that from one onward, it's gonna get progressively darker, and seven will be the darkest. So I'm gonna go over this one first so I have a basis. Notice I change directions of my shading so sort to of really get into the cracks of the paper. This is a thicker sketch paper. Um, if you want, if you have a blending stick or your thumb or a tissue, you can still go over it as well. Okay, so from seven to one, I wanna have multiple shades of gray, each one slightly different from the last. So if I start with two, I'm gonna go over it really light. I'm barely pressing, I'm not putting that much pressure at all on it. Number three, I'm gonna go over it a little bit darker. Four, darker still. Five, even darker. And six, even darker. So for each one, I just changed the pressure of my pencil. Um, however, um, to make it seem even closer to the seventh, uh, the seventh value here, I'm going to go over it one more time. So I'm going to press a little bit more, changing directions. All right, I'll do that for each of them here. Four. Again, I'm pressing really, really, really light, and so on and so on. And there we have it. Now, using my blending stick or my thumb my finger I'm just gonna go over it one more time you know you can use either or sort of see how they blend together I will be using this reference sheet in some of our drawings later on now looking at this I'm seeing that four and five in fact three four and five are all very very similar so there's a couple options you can do um, I can try to make each one progressively darker, or I could try to make each one progressively lighter. So if I just erase lightly what's in number one, I can then erase a little bit in number two and a little bit in number three. Again, I'm not pressing too hard with my eraser, just trying to lighten it up a little bit. Okay. So that solves this and compared to the rest. Now, four and five are still very similar. So what I'm going to do is I'm gonna to try to make seven even darker by pressing harder. I'll make six a little bit darker. And I'll make five a little bit darker too. Okay.
Okay, so there we have it. a great resource for artists to have. Um, so if I am shading something, um, I can kind of look at this sheet to see what should be lighter and what should be darker. To use an example, if I go back to my sphere, I can say, all right, well, this is great. Um, in this drawing of a sphere, I can see that my core shadow is in between a six and a seven. My highlight is about a one. This half tone here is very similar to the number four here. So basically using this value scale, I am able to determine what might need to be darker or lighter compared to that. In fact, looking at this drawing one more time, um, the darkest area should be the cast shadow where it meets the object. It's not quite at the seven. I could go back over it again to sort of darken it a little bit more to get to that seven before it kind of shifts to a six or a five and four and so on and so forth. Okay, so there you have it. There is uh, the use of a value scale in a drawing. Um, I suggest that we all try this uh, before we go on to some of the other forms. It'll be a great resource to use in upcoming tutorials. All right, very good.